Welcome to Luram Tutorials. Today I will be showing you how to create a simple calculator in Java. If you want to follow along, I'll be using the IntelliJ IDEA compiler. Or if you don't want to do that, you can use this free website called REPL.IT. I'll leave the links to both of them in the description. So the first thing you're going to do if you're using the IntelliJ compiler is you'll create a new project and you'll click on the drop down menu for your project name here right click on the source file it'll say src go to new java class and then we'll name this call it tutorial and then it'll pull up this public tutorial class so now what we're going to do is we'll create the main method so some compilers create the main method automatically uh, this one didn't, so you're going to go inside your public class, inside the curly braces, hit enter, and then type in public static void main in parentheses, string, then you put brackets, and then outside the brackets, args, then curly brackets, and then enter. And that'll have set up the main method. If you're using the ripple.it website, you can just skip that this step and it'll already have it set up for you. So now what you're gonna do is we're going to create a prompt. So we're gonna ask it what they want to do. So inside the main, me main method, we'll type in string, we'll do system.out.print line in parentheses and outside the parentheses a colon in java it's important to put these colons at the end of almost every line of code and inside these parentheses we'll put uh, quotations and then we'll prompt the user something so we'll ask it addition contraction multiplication or division Okay, so if we run this, so you'll click run, run, and then select the class we're running. This will be a tutorial. And then you'll give it a second to load, and then it'll pop the message in your console. So far, all it asks is uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And right now we can't type in there, so now we're going to set something up for that. So above the system.out, we're going to make some space here. And we'll type and we'll create a scanner. So what the scanner does is it takes a user input, we'll type in scanner, and that calls the function. And then you'll uh, name it something. I'm gonna call it scan. You can name this whatever you want. And then equals new scanner. So it's telling us we're creating a new version of this class. Then parentheses and then system.in. And that's just well, what we're gonna have to do. So it's taking in from the console and then put a colon at the end. Now right now the scanner, wherever it says scanner we're calling the, that class is red or underlined. So we're going to hover over it and type import class. And what that does, it just imports the Java class. So we don't have to type that in. But if it doesn't give you that option, you can just type in import java.util.scanner and then colon. So now we have the scanner class set up. So now what we need to do is call that right after the output. So you, get, you code in order, so it'll go top to bottom. So it'll first do this, and then whatever's after it, and so on and so forth. That's why we need the scanner at the top, and we need to do system dot out in the top. So then right after that, uh, line of code, and it'll take user input. So we'll do scan, that's calling what we named our scanner, dot, and when we click the dot, it'll give you all kinds of options. And we're just gonna type in next, line. So next is uncapitalized and line is capitalized. Then parentheses and then colon. So right now that won't do anything. So we run it and down here it'll pop up. Now we can type in the console. We're going to call this user input. Actually we're just going to call this input. Ring. So what we're going to do next is we'll convert it. So now what we're going to do 
is we're going to create some if statements. So we'll take a line of code and we'll save saved under input, which I'm actually going to rename to type. If, and then parentheses, type dot equals, then parentheses, and then in quotes, we'll write addition. Because, so we'll let if type dot equals addition, then put parentheses. So that's part of the if statement. And then we put a curly bracket and hit enter. That says if type dot equals addition, we run this command, which we haven't typed yet. System dot out dot print line. Uh, we'll, we'll call this enter a number. And then we'll put, yeah, and then we'll uh, just in that line of code there. So it'll do if type that equals addition, do this. So let's try it. So we'll run the code. We'll say addition, enter a number, and then it just ends because we haven't told it to do anything afterward. So now we'll take the uh, scanner we'll use. We'll type in uh, scan dot next line like we did last time. And then now we need to name it something. So we'll type this string, because that's the type it is, num1. We'll equal scan dot next line. We can just copy this over and over again, but since we're going to do this a lot, we're going to create a method for this. So outside of the main method, right under where it says tutorial, we're going to create a prompt method. So we're going to say public static void, and we're going to name it. We're going to call it prompt, then parentheses, and then out and th inside the parentheses is where you would have a constraint. We're not going to have any constraints, so we're just going to do curly braces, and then we'll just copy this line of code here, the prompt. We'll just cut that out and paste it right here. So now we can just use prompt two or prompt one. So we'll type in prompt and then colon, and that'll be the same thing as typing this. And this is a little bit quicker. So we're gonna do that and make it your code a little bit more clean. And then we'll do another prompt. So we'll type in, or we'll just copy this code here because we're just gonna do it again. We'll do paste, so it'll do prompt, and then it'll do string dot uh num1 is equal to this, and it'll do num2. So now if we run this, it'll ask us for two different numbers, and it'll store it under a variable. So we have an addition, enter number, we'll say 1, and it saves it as num1. And then it asks us for another number, and we'll say 2, and then it ends. That saved that under num2. So now all we have to do is output the result. System dot out dot print line parentheses. Now in here, we're going to write uh, num one plus num two. Right. So let's try that, and what you'll see what happens. I'm going to put a colon at the end. Is we're not going to get what we expect. I'll show you why. In addition, enter number number one. Num2, and it'll give us 12. But 1 plus 2 is not 12. So, what we did was these are still strings. So, we need to convert them. Integer dot parse int in parentheses. And all you gotta do now is uh, put that in parentheses, the string. So, now it'll make that as a string. So, what we're gonna do is we're, since we're gonna use that a lot, we're gonna create another method just so you can learn how to do methods. So up here again, we're going to do public static int. Now, this is what the result's going to be. It's going to be an integer. So we're going to end up with. We're going to call this parse in parentheses. And now, we're, now we do need to add a constraint. So we need to take an input. Well, it's going to be a string, which is what num1 or num2 is. That is string. We're going to label it. I'm going to call it a for now. And then outside the parentheses, put uh, curly brackets. And here we're going to put the code. So for this, we're just going to cut this out. 
and paste that in. And we're gonna ask for num for uh, a, uh, and then we'll put a colon at the end, hit enter, and then we'll do tab return b, and we'll get an error from that because b hasn't been defined yet. So we'll call this int b is equal to integer parse int. So now we've labeled the result of this as b. Then we're gonna return b just so that it runs properly. So now when we try and do this, we'll have to type in uh, parse, parentheses, then num1, and then over here we'll do parse, parentheses, num2. Let me move this over just so it looks right. So now if we run this, you'll see we should get the right answer. So we'll do addition. One, two, we should get three, and that's what we got. I'm just gonna copy this for now. Get outside of the if commands curly brackets, enter, and I do control V. Now we'll like, enable this sub subtraction. And we'll change the plus to a minus. And then after this, we need to put a curly bracket, bracket to close that properly. And then now we need to change this if statement to an else statement, so else if. So it'll say, if this, do this, else, do this. So now we're just gonna copy that again. We'll just copy that. Paste it two more times. And then we'll do uh, multiplication and division. And now we'll change these from minus to a star for multiplication and a minus to a uh, forward slash for division. So now if we run this, it should run properly. Star multiplication. Enter number three, three will shoot nine. We do and then it ends. Run it again, we'll do division. Type in six. I'm going to type in 3 and it should get us 2. So that is how to create a simple calculator in Java. If you enjoyed the video or something, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.